There are times when I sigh with relief that people in national politics get it. It's not often. Uh, this morning, Farage was doing a phone-in with the BBC and he was asked about his opinion of President Putin. And he said, uh, uh, is it desperate when you said you admired Putin as an operator? And Farage says, well, Putin is a, a very clever political operator, adding that he didn't like him as a human being. You can recognise the fact that some people are good at what they do, even if they have evil intent. And that is such a good analysis, not only of Putin, but, um, well, <laughs> I don't dare to say it, but um, the, 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 the real point is there's a distinction between recognising somebody's brilliance as a political operator and endorsing their views or liking them as a person. There are three issues at stake here. Farage is among those who I would concede uh, immediately is a very, very fine political operator in a way that Rishi Sunak is not. Rishi Sunak is a dreadful operator. He is simply repeating slogans that other people have written. And he learns brilliantly. But when he came back from D-Day and he had to apologise, he was still repeating the slogans and the scripts that he'd been given. And there was no sense of authenticity, no sense of immediacy, no sense of um, intimacy with the people, with the voters, with the person asking the questions. It was just as if a button is pressed and this is what he says. And he might as well have been one of those machines in the old railway stations, I speak your weight. You step on him and he speaks. You pull the string like in the old um, action man and he speaks and he says what he's been programmed to say. That is Sunak. Farage at least will go off piste, a little bit like Boris Johnson. And there's something that one must like about that. And in both cases, they are extremely good political operators. We may not endorse what they say. We may not like what they do. But we cannot fail to notice that on a stage, they are superb performers. Farage is a consummate performer, as indeed is Boris. This is one of the reasons why I make the parallel between Farage and Music Hall. Because like the Music Hall artists. Farage has learned his craft for one small, one small performance. Brexit. Get Brexit done. Uh, and very, uh, and Boris is a much bigger performer. He's a much broader performer. He's got a much greater scope. Farage has got a very limited scope, but he is brilliant at what he does. In the same way as Max Miller was brilliant at what he does or what he did in the same way as Flanagan and Allen, brilliant at what they did. And there's a, there's a lot of me that feels that Farrar should get up and start singing um, uh, songs by Flanagan and Allen or uh, the Max Miller songs, because that's what he does. That's who he is. He needs to recognise the reality. Uh, he doesn't have original views. He can't retain information. How many... How, how, how many reform candidates are you putting out? Well, lots of dithering. I don't know. I don't know. It's, um... Yeah. It's, dis it's disturbing. And his prevarication about whether or not he would support Zelensky. Have you tried to have a negotiation, he asks. Well, yes, but you don't negotiate with somebody who only has a particular uh, fiat to put down. You negotiate with somebody from a position of some strength and from a position of some alliance. That is why the um, sanctions were wrong, because it took us out of the picture. It took the West out of that negotiating process. And you say, oh, we're not supposed to be negotiating for the Zelensky. Yes, we are. 
Yes, we are. We should be keeping Russia talking, and we're not. We're standing on the sidelines booing, and that is not sensible. Of course, we should be providing Zelensky with what he wants, because Zelensky has been invaded by a bully. But of course we should be talking to Putin, or what is Putin? Uh, Farage, I, I think, doesn't, um, uh, doesn't agree with me that Putin is dead. Farage is wrong. Doesn't make any difference. Um, and Farage also thinks uh, that, that uh, postal voting is open to fraud. Well, that's because he can't influence it at the last moment. Farage is all about that, that final bow, isn't he? Because in the end, he is a showman. And yes, I understand. I understand. It doesn't mean that I endorse what he says. And I salute him and I, I clap. But um, if, I, if, 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 if somebody gives Farage a clap, it doesn't mean they're endorsing his programme or his views. Clap, by all means. You don't need to approve, but you do need to recognise that this man is brilliant at what he does. Limited, limited skill set, developed and honed to perfection by experience. Not something he learnt in a college or a university, it's something he learnt on the job in the European Parliament. You all laughed, you're not laughing now. No, we're not. We're saluting. We just have to make sure that we don't end up saluting in the wrong way.